Thank you, President. Members, guests, uh, welcome to the Sergeant session. Um, we've been talking a lot about uh, history over the last few uh, sessions of uh, 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 last few Rotary meetings, and today is no different. So I thought I'd bring in a different element of history to uh, discuss with you and, and uh, just do a little bit of a quiz and see how you, whether you do know your history or not. Don't dwell on that too long, but I might leave that one up for a little while because I want to talk a little bit about um, uh, ICT in New Zealand. And um, obviously lots of people have different views about uh, information and communications technology. And uh, that cartoon perhaps represents uh, some of your views on that subject, if you read it quickly. Um, my first question is going back in history uh, a long way and um, uh, just trying to find out whether you know when um, the sort of the modern era of um, information and communications technology really started to emerge. And um, there's some dates, the 1890, 1920, 1950, 1980. And I'd uh, be very interested to see if anyone can give me the answer to that question. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is 1980. Uh, 1890. <laughs> 1890 with um, uh, cards and things like that. And as you say, Babbage's uh, work in that uh, era. And of course, we've evolved over the last uh, 100 years to uh, involve a lot more capability. And then um, the next question, when was the first stored program electronic computer commission? Anyone can answer that? 49, 49. Close. Yeah. Okay, 49. Yeah, it was, it was just after the war. So it was the EDSAC uh, computer in 1949. Those tables that did not have someone that could answer that question, please put some money in the bit, in the sunshine box. Keep it rolling in. When was the first mainframe computer commissioned in New Zealand? Got some dates out there? Well, you better all pay up. It was 61. Treasury was the first implementation along with DSIR, although there were a number of other uh, computing facilities went in around the same time. By the way, I, I was asked to do a, um, a, 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 a lecture on this subject uh, earlier in the year, so this is where a lot of the material came from. Um, down in 1982, does anyone remember the Whanganui Computer Centre bombing? Yeah. Mm. But of course there was other um, activities, not just government, to early business computing, Griffins, Biscuit Factory in 1961 also. And of course we went into then the data bank and those sorts of errors. And in academic uh, computing, obviously, the universities took it up very early, uh, the University of Canterbury, um, and then the various IBM 360 series that went across most of the universities. So it's been, uh, and mainframes have been in New Zealand for a long time. When was the first microprocessor chip commercially launched? That's those little things that you have now in your phone. Seventy-one. Wow. Intel 4004 was launched in um, 1971, but there's been a large number of generations since then, and I'd hate to think what generation we're up to now in our in our modern phones. Uh, they uh, certainly have a lot more uh, capability than any of those devices. Did you ever own one of these? Can anyone put their hands up if you owned any one of these devices? There's a whole range of them there. Yeah. Yeah, but I can put my hand up as well. I think I owned about two of them. Yeah. Did anyone own the Commodore 64? Yep. Well, you were in a very uh, elite group because there were a lot of those made. When was the, when was the internet uh, first emerge in New Zealand? Lots of debate. 96, 86. Here we go. Waikato University joined CSNet in 1986. And you might notice my name in the next one in 1987 because I ran a group out of um, Stanford University uh, back into the new Telecom New Zealand as it was in 1987 uh, using the internet via Waikato University in 1987. 
There's a very good book if you want to know more about the internet. A bit of advertising. When was the uh, New Zealand first connected via electronic cable to the rest of the world? Any thoughts on that? No, okay. Well, the first cable went in was Compaq, and that was 1963. And since then, we've had a range of cables, obviously, with Southern Cross, and then this year we've launched two new uh, fibre optic submarine cables. So, been around for quite some time. And the last question is when was cellular communications launched in New Zealand? Uh, we didn't have those little phones that we've got in our pockets these days. So, when was that launched? 88. Yeah, well, it was 88. And of course, in 88, you had the uh, commercial launch with phones like that, which were bricks. And of course, we've gone through several generations of technology since then, and we're now heading towards the fifth generation of technology. And then I'll just leave you with uh, this little cartoon here about productivity and computing, uh, where basically, um, if you spend all the time sorting out um, what you, whether you are making uh, improved productivity or not, you probably spend all the uh, spare time anyway. And, and as, as it says there, there will always be a scapegoat, a scapegoat. So there we are. Hope you put all your money into the sunshine box. And thank you very much indeed.